Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Civilization VI running on Intel HD 5500 graphics. Uh, this is on a Core i3-5010U processor, and we are running it at the default uh, detail settings of 1366 by 768 and the minimum settings for the game. Uh, this is what the game loads up as when we start it. And before we start, I just have to sort of say that Intel were very kind to provide a Steam code for um, Civilization VI, which I've used for this testing. Um, they haven't asked me to say anything specific, but obviously I have to be upfront with you as to that relationship there. But moving on to the game actual testing, and through the benchmark mode in the game, the average frame rate here was about 20 frames per second. Um, what we do see is, as with HD 520 and 620, uh, there's quite a difference in performance between um, sort of when you have the AI thinking about moves, uh, frame rates drop as the processor section uh, or the CPU component of the chip takes more power that draws uh, power away from the graphics portion which brings the frame rate down and then as that moves over to carrying out the actions frame rates improve so what we're seeing is frame rates typically go from about we're just going to see here about 14 frames per second while the AI is deciding on a move and then come up to sort of around 30 frames per second once those moves are taking place. Um, what this does mean is, you know, you have some variable variability in the frame rates, but it's not a real problem with a turn-based game like this. Um, you know, while you're while the AI is thinking, you don't really have much to be doing or interacting with the game yourself, um, and it's not like you need to be making sort of twitch reflexes or anything like that. When you're in control, frame rates do come up to sort of mid 20s, 30 frames per second, and for this sort of title, that's actually generally okay. What that means is if you have an Intel HD 550 equipped Ultrabook or laptop, or like we're playing on here, a Nook, you are going to be able to play this title. You're not going to have, you know, the finest visual effects or higher settings for it, but it is going to be a reasonable playable experience. I hope you found this video useful. Um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for more games running on Intel HD 5500 and other gaming platforms. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see us testing in the future. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.